right, yeah, now we're back. Um, I decided to um, fix up a couple of my other Wolf Among Us videos. Um, like, just so when I start editing soon, like, won't be tomorrow, like, computer time. It'll be tomorrow, like, today. But, um, yeah, I'll get it out soon. So, I just really wanted to play this DLC. I've been holding off for a long time. So, uh, without further ado, let's get fucking back into this. Like, holy shit, like, I took a minute to, you know, sit down, and, like, I was just, wow, really good DLC so far. Uh, I really hope they don't kill off Big B, though, so, let's get into it. And last part where we left off was the Witching Well. I think so. But yeah, it's just you and me here with a loading screen. There we go. Witching well. <laughs> I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Ah, there he is, uh, you fucker. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get These off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should be fucking ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding Twice. and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Twice. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. Thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I have nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? 
The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where world. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Give me a break. You're so full of shit. Well, I thought we could discuss this like civilized people, but apparently For that isn't going sake. to happen. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Oh, no. Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, Left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for yeah, you. Yeah, but the worst type. Yes, but... Wasn't I? That was Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to no, help poor fables get glamours. No, because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, Snow made a why would you want that? Is that true? I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. 
But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie body. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Fuck you. Snow? Fuck you, okay? I'm sick of your shit. You see what I mean? Big B? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of I course it's right! This man tormented all of you, Thank for you. profit! Georgie Let killed him... Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time. Yes? Yes. You are responsible. Of course. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think Bluebeard we'd all dinner. just let that go? You can't be serious. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, liar, Crane liar, was still liar, deputy liar, mayor liar. when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So? You won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard. to... Bluebeard! Please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to help. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Little What's one? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say well, something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. 
Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Vivian killed herself. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself. Back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This it, fucker. It, it, no, no, Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Perfect. Looks like we found our evidence. You're done. She saw it You're done. Hand. He's You're done. guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. I could always rip your arms off first. Would you enjoy that? Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you enough. There will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So we get rid of him. So get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Look, I'm making the call. Why should you... He is the only officially appointed representative here. Right. Bigby should decide. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people yeah. want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's no one. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. I don't know what I want to do. Use magics. Or should I just end him? No. Everyone, I'm not this way. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You're going to miss me. I won't. No, no I won't. Oh my god. Oh. Fuck off. Fuck off. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books.
Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that was badass. Holy fuck, that was badass. I hope that isn't the end. Don't leave it on a cliffhanger. Tell me what's gonna happen, damn it. Nice, okay, good. Hey, Sheriff. Are you going to come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Ah, Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Hey, there's Colin. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Come on. <laughs> you never listen to me. Fuck these guys, they did what was right. I did what I thought was right. Dude put so many people through so much bullshit, so many lies, you know, he had to pay for it. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Yeah, sure. If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You 
don't have to worry about the Mundy seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Uh, he gets to stay. Colin gets to stay. That's bullshit, Bigby, and you know it! You're a fucking corrupt. Saying goodbye? Oh, wait, what the fuck? I thought it was Bloody Mary, and I was like, yo, we killed you. Who the fuck are you? Oh, no, Marissa. Hi. Oh, okay. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my oh. own. Okay? God damn it. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Marissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No! Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done as done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, oh, the piece of and I left her. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this? I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked yes. man was counting on that. When we suffer... We do it in silence, and the world likes it that way. We just... fade, like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith, or Lily. Nobody cares about us. 
I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah. Kinda got a point there. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Doctor Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. good they need to make more i loved it holy shit but fuck so i guess there's fucking we're done the case took care of everything we fucking uh we, we brought him down uh here we go sorry uh what did you do uh you and 68 other players killed georgie uh did you give the crooked man trial 80 something did 14% of players um, ripped his head off. Uh, U98 players decided to accept TJ's gift for Snow. Uh, and me and nine, me and 54 players said, "I hope we've done some good." Holy shit! Oh, and yeah, there's special stats. So there's pretty much everything. There's Faith, Crooked Man's dead. If you guys can stop him, look at this. And then Toad hates my guts. <laughs> I want more. God damn it, I want more.
guys enjoyed this. Holy shit, that was great. Um, there needs to be more. Like, they didn't kill him off. Everything's good. And, uh... Yeah, like, holy shit. That was great. And thanks to that Bill, like, uh, Willington guy. Or that, that dude. Like, he made a fucking great series. I'll continue the story, pick up the graphic novel. Oh, that's cool. Fuck, I should buy me some of those. That's really cool. Fuck, but they need to do a se not another season of this. I want it. I'd pay the money for it. Like, even if they had a, like, Kickstarter, I'd do it too. Like, I'd totally kickstart the shit out of making, like, another one of these. Because it's great. Like, good story and good everything. It's, like, wow. Like, I, and I like how they ended it, too. It's, like, uh, I don't know how the other endings are, but, like, for my ending, it felt like I took care of one evil. Like, even though, um, I did it very harsh and brutally, you know, I took care of it. You know, people might be scared of me because I did it that way, but, you know. I'd rather have them scared of me than fucking needing to deal with that guy again, so... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, that's one minus for you. Um, holy shit. That's all I can say is holy shit. Um, I'm probably not gonna do all the ending or show videos and all the endings because I feel like it's done. I don't really want to go back and, you know, show all the other parts of, of it, so, you know. Um, like, that's what, I, what, what I'm gonna say. It's like, buy the game. Like, even though like, you saw me beat it this way, who knows, you can get a different ending. Like, uh, I would replay it again just to see what differences I can get, because I know for the extras, uh, I might even check all the choices we had, uh, to see what you were missing. And, you know, if it's, it's good, like, I have a couple things to do, and then I can completely finish this game. But I'll do that on my own time. Because uh, I'm, not, I'm not like an achievement junkie or whatever. Like, I don't like go for that. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe and give a friend today. And I hope you guys have a great, uh, I think it's Saturday morning. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in whatever the fuck I make. Whenever, whenever I make it. I love you guys.